female in seizure is located on a bus. The OC threw away mile marker 78 on the southbound side. Meet the New Pulse Rescue Squad, a group of dedicated individuals that work 24 hours a day, every day, to keep New Pulse safe. The squad was formed, I want to say it was about in the early 70s, about 1975, 1976, uh, out of the need to have an ambulance service in the village of New Pulse. It was formed as primarily a volunteer organization uh, that's run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, out of a rescue squad base house. Well, basically our mission is to provide 24-7 emergency medical services to the town, village of New Paltz and 10 miles of the thruway. It's a very diverse group, as you can imagine, right? So we have people who have been volunteering here for one month to 30 years. <laughs> so there's people with vast differences in experience, different ages. Then you have your career people who, you know, have chosen this as a career. I think we've been very successful in kind of meshing the two. There's not that many agencies that are both career, that are both, you know, paid and volunteer. I kind of decided out of nowhere to call the New Paltz Rescue Squad because I go to school at SUNY New Paltz and I just said, hey, how do I do this? You know, how do I become an EMT? And, um, they gave me a whole bunch of information. They set me up with a local class. So I went to EMT class twice a week while being a full-time student at SUNY. Um, and I finished that up and I joined New Paul Rescue and I've been on for a little over two years now and I love it. Sarah started, um, she started as an EMT and she's very dedicated, is very bright. Sarah's going on to some kind of higher medical training as well. So that what's better than that, to get somebody to volunteer as an EMT who has even higher aspirations. <laughs> so they bring this entire wealth of knowledge and this drive to being a volunteer. And again, we're very, very fortunate. I graduated college in 2008 and uh, I didn't really know what was going on with my life. So uh, one of my friends said that I could actually join the New Pulse Rescue Squad. I, didn't, I wasn't aware that it was volunteer. I didn't know what that entailed or anything. So I eventually joined and filled out my application and did my interview and found out that I could, when well, I'm over 21, I could be a driver. At that point, I started driving here and I said in my interview even, I said that I only wanted to drive. Um, and then from there, it, uh, everything escalated to me becoming an EMT, becoming an officer and getting very involved with the squad. We had a call on the throughway where a man had been hit, not his car, a man walking had been hit by a tractor trailer on the throughway. He apparently had been taking PCP for days or something like that is what the talk screen said. Um, and I remember I wasn't with, Sean wasn't on the crew with me. Um, I went out with a few other people and as soon as we parked, I basically ran out to the patient first and started checking uh, what we call their ABCs, airway breathing circulation, going down my trauma assessment protocol that I've been taught in EMT class. It was like his whole side, he had literally stepped out in front of the tractor trailer. I turn around and my crew is still back in the ambulance. I, I couldn't tell what they were doing. They were kind of, I guess, grabbing equipment and whatnot. I, I couldn't really tell. And then I see Sean pull up in the fly car. He was a, a, a lieutenant at the time. And um, I hear her, him and Gina start yelling at my crew to get out there. Um, and Sean came over and he took such control of the scene. And um, like, I, I remember like he knew, he calmed me right down. He knew what to do. He told me what to do. He had, he had this guy like on a backboard collared on a stretcher in the ambulance like before anyone else could like. And like, th that's when I decided that I definitely wanted to be on Sean's crew. I, I trust him probably more than anyone else on the, on the squad. 
rescue duty clear of mail farm with a back and tree intersection of Mountain Rest Road and Canyon Road. Repeating to the rescue duty clear of mail farm with a back and tree intersection of Mountain Rest Road and Canyon Road. 11 Joe 4, 5633. What I have to remember and what everybody has to remember is that when you go on a call that no matter how memorable it is to you and how scary it is to you that somebody actually did call 911. And for most people that's a big thing. A lot of people haven't done it. A lot of people, it would take a lot for you to actually have the, the, the call 911, you know. To actually say, I have to dial 911, I'm that scared about what's going on, you know. We get all kind of calls. Um, we get trauma, which is basically anything that's not medical, such as motor vehicle accidents, falls, um, different kinds of injuries. Um, we get uh, medical calls, um, mainly to the nursing homes, uh, where we, we have to respond to all types of different medical emergencies, cardiac, respiratory, pretty much anything. Um, we get psychiatric calls, which are always interesting. Um, we get calls at the college for um, you know, intoxication or other reasons. And you can never predict when a call happens. So, you know, once that happens, everything changes and we go on the call and we stop whatever we're doing and, you know, there's just a, a complete change in our attitudes and everything that's going on as soon as the, the, we hear the tones for, for the call that we have. It's a great thing about new calls, you know, there, there's really no one call you're guaranteed to on any particular night, like you really never know what you're walking into. We, we were on our way to get food when we went to, to when the call dropped, so you know, we had to wait to have the pizza. So hopefully um, the town and village in New Paltz waits until we get to eat uh, before, before somebody else, uh, else needs uh, our services. It's only one o'clock, been up since six, and we're getting a little hungry. A lot of times it's hard to balance everything I do as a student, as an RA, as an EMT, as a board member, as a future medical student. Um, it gets really overwhelming. You know, it's tough sometimes, but you just have to try to play your individual roles as best you can. Be an EMT when I have to be an EMT, be an RA when I have to be an RA, and be a student. Oh, and be a girlfriend and a big sister, <laughs> and just, you know, myself, I guess. You know, sometimes things get a little bit crazy, but you know, I have, yeah, I learned a lot of time management skills, you know. I have my job that I do um, for money. I have volunteering here. Um, and then, you know, there, there's other things like, you know, for my, my free time, you know, Thursday nights, every Thursday night is, is date night with my girlfriend. So. When I became the chief of police here uh, about a year and a half ago, my time commitment was really, Test, and it was difficult for me to maintain the number of hours that I want to be able to provide to them as a volunteer. As a paramedic, we have to keep our skills very up to date and very fresh and have to be doing this a lot to really be able to do it comfortably and do it right. And I knew that I wouldn't be able to dedicate my time. And it was a, a good time for me to move on in the next phase of my life. Uh, and again, as I said, that was at about my 30-year mark. Through countless hours spent responding to a variety of calls, it is only natural that New Pulse Rescue considers themselves a family. They take their time you know, out of their very, very busy lives. So many people are working two or three jobs and still find time to come here and volunteer for their community just because they love their community so much. We have people that travel here from Connecticut, from Long Island, just to do a, a 24 or 12 hour shift. Um, so people really, really love it here. Um, we have some of the best people in the world, uh, the best medics, best EMTs. Um, everyone really, truly cares about the patient. They care about their crew, their job. Um, and that's really rare to find. If you put people in, in, in a situation where they're going to be spending 12 hours together and they're going to be relying on each other and having to count on each other in high stress situations and, and not knowing when these situations will occur or what will be entailed in these situations, that once you, 
it, it builds trust a lot faster than, than any other group, I feel like. People really do find a sense of family and a sense of community here, and they know they can come here, and sometimes people just come and hang out. They're not even on duty. You can go down to the kitchen at any time, and there's people just in there and just chatting, and we do know a lot about each other's lives, and because when you spend 12 hours with somebody in an ambulance or in a building, and you're kind of really depending on them, you really do get to know all about them. To this day, I could walk over there and, and as they will with any member, you know, they'll open their arms and invite you in. And it's not just riding on the ambulance and, and the thrill of that or the joy of, of helping somebody, but the friendships and the camaraderie that you make there are bonds that you'll never break. And, you know, and I'm grateful that I had that and still do now. It's now 6.38 p.m. and um, we're heading to SUNY real quick to drop someone off and then uh, <laughs> Sean and I are going right back to rescue because they need the squad leaders. So um, yeah, we've been here 12 hours and we're still going, but it's okay. If we didn't love it, we wouldn't be here and we would definitely wouldn't be going back if we didn't Are love sure? it. New Pulse Rescue has been the home to hundreds of volunteers who have saved thousands of lives. And although many members have come and gone, the memories made and the bonds forged will never be forgotten. You know, the Rescue Squad has a very special place in my heart. It always did and it always will. And I'll, I'll always consider myself uh, an ally to them and for them to be there for me and for me to be there for them. You know, it's, it's not a relationship that'll ever end uh, in one way, shape, or form. So, you know, it, it's been a great ride for me, and I wouldn't give it up for a million years. I, it's overall an amazing experience. Um, you know, it's uh, probably in my life, honestly, the best thing I've done so far <laughs> in my life. Um, it's the thing I'm most proud of right now, by far. Um, you know, I, I've met amazing people here that I will never, ever forget. I think when I go away to medical school, it's going to be the saddest day of my life saying goodbye to New Paltrow. If I could have every minute that I was here, and let me tell you, that's a lot of time, back, right now, I would never, I would, I would never give it up for what I have at this point in my life from here.